Good morning guys and um, welcome to Van Alarm and welcome to Stanley in the camper van. Um, this morning we're just going to quickly show you how to fit the um, siren alarms within your camper van environment, be it camper van, be it motorhome, um, be it caravan. You know, the uh, same situation will uh, occur in all those environments. So we take our van alarm siren, get it out of the box. Here we've got the uh, remote and the uh, siren itself. Um, you'll see on the back there's two little squares here. Um, we just need to get the uh, little tabs out that are in the box and stick those on the back. So we just unpeel those. Stick one on, not the straightest. Not to worry, it still does the job. Stick the other one on. So what we're looking to do um, with the siren alarms, the siren alarms also act as your door sensors. So we're trying to get these um, as close to the actual door handle as we can on the outside of the van. So also we have to consider when we've got padding like this, um, this can sometimes stop some of the vibration. So if possible, we're actually looking fit the unit to the metal structure of the vehicle. It's not always possible, but if we can do that, that's best because the vibration will come best through that metal structure than it will through possibly an insulated panel. So we'll take our van alarm. We've got our um, stickers on the back. We simply just peel those off. One thing we also have to consider is to get entry into this once, if there's any problem with the batteries or you need to replace the batteries, there's a little screw hole here. Um, so we don't really want to be blocking that um, so that we can get our screwdriver in and open it up when we need to chase, change the batteries. So if I put that like that on here, it makes access to the screw hole difficult. So really I would just turn it over. It doesn't matter if it's upside down and get it as close as you can. Make sure this surface has been cleaned nicely before, and dried before you apply this. And we just take the unit and we just give it a nice big firm push like that. And it's nicely secure and fixed on there. Here we have a little battery tab. We just pull that out, he says. We get a couple of beeps like that and it tells that the alarm is fitted. So that's one alarm, siren alarm fitted to the door, one door, and we're just going to do the rest. Come with me. So again, get the unit out of the box. Stick the quick tabs to the back. Should have done one of these. I did this earlier, but it's quick and simple anyway. So we just apply those to the back. So I've got the door open here. Um, one thing we need to uh, be careful of is the uh, frame itself when we're actually closing. So if I, for example, fitted it here, when I shut that door, it's probably going to that that frame is probably going to hit this. So I need to get it as close to the edge to make sure that it's not going to uh, that is going to happen so I'll just take that last tab off again stick it upside down I know that the frame goes down here so I will just stick that sensor there again I just pull this tab out two beeps so it's alarmed and ready to go so here we are with our third and final sound alarm to fit to the main back door of our motorhome. Um, one thing we haven't mentioned is when we are doing that location is actually locating it to possibly the inside area, like we said, um, as close as we can to the handle because most of these will at least try a handle before they actually try to get into the vehicle or break any locks or anything like that. And this is where van alarm comes into the fore. So we've got our handle here. So. Given what I've just recently said, you would possibly think of putting the unit here. Um, however, our suggestion would probably not to do that because we've got really thick insulated 
um, plastic padding here, which will struggle to feel that vibration coming off the door handle on the outside. So I'm more inclined to actually fit the unit here, which this recess here takes actually the plastic panelling as close to the metalwork as possible. So again, just take your tabs off the back. I have preset this one up. Stick it here. Give it a good firm press. Again, make sure all these surfaces are clean because those tabs can come off if it's a greasy or wet surface. So again, if we just run our finger through, it's the location is as close to that lock as we can get it. And our third siren alarm is fitted. So we've fitted all our siren sensors to our doors and we'll just show you quickly how to make those work. So we have a key fob with each of our alarm units. Um, there is a key fob so for each, but you can pair this one key fob to all three alarms very easily and there's other videos on our website to show you how to do that. So here's a key fob. We quickly just simply take the key fob itself. We press the button at the top here. One, we heard the unit just arm there. We'll wait for a beep. There was the beep. So the unit itself is now alarmed. If I pull this door handle, we hear those two beeps. That's the warning beep to tell the thief or would be thief that the actual alarm is set. However, if I pull that door handle again, within the same 10 seconds, the alarm is set and it goes off as this. It goes through a multi-tone um, siren just to uh, raise more alarm than a standard tone. And if we do that by accident, we can simply just quickly turn it off with the unlock button here. And it's unarmed and ready to go. So it's as simple as that, guys. It was, as you can see, nice, easy, um, light touch on the door handle and it sets those alarms off. So we'll quickly just demonstrate that happening on the front door. There's a pre-warning sign. Again, if it's pulled again within the next 10 seconds, the main alarm goes off. I'll just quickly switch that off. One of the things that lots of guys and girls worry about is obviously because the sensitivity is relatively high, um, they worry about um, lorries or high wind and everything setting the alarm off itself and false alarms. Um, one thing I can promise you guys is um, we have never had any of our alarm units returned because of false alarms. Mainly that is because of the pre-warning system that we have um, installed and also there are seven settings of sensitivity. So if you are in an area where there's lots of lorries going past you can just desensitize it a little. It will still go off when the door handle is pulled um, but within winds and lorries etc it won't set that off for you. So it's got a nice anti false alarm setting in there as well um, to protect you guys from getting up and getting your messages um, constantly through your phone. So we've set our door sensor alarms. The door sensors are there to obviously feel any vibration or any possible tampering with locks, pulling of handles, smashing of a glass possibly, um, and those events happen, the actual sirens will set off immediately and then we have the GPS smart alarm unit whose function actually is to hear that alarm going off and report to you instantly via your phone. It does that either by text, by in-app message or by actually phone calling you also. Um, in this instance we set it to text and as you can see here um, when the alarm went off we had the pre-warning um, alert at 11.36 and then at 11.37 it obviously just changed over on the minute. Um, when the siren was going off it also sent that alert to your phone so you can instantly react to that alarm going off. Within the unit itself it also has a vibration sens sensitive setting per, excuse me for that, um, a bit of a tongue twister. So uh, also it just has an extra level so it actually if these sirens aren't set and you have set the vibration sensitivity on this. If the vehicle moves, it does feel that vibration moving also and will send that alarm to you also. So we have designed the unit itself specifically not to look like an alarm. 
Um, it actually looks like a torch unit. It actually can be used as a torch unit. So if you've got your camper van, it's very handy for that. So uh, as we see here, it's just got a little torch unit at the top and you can actually use it as a torch. Um, so where do we put this unit? Um, because it looks like a torch, we can actually put it anywhere in our vehicle. Because, it's, um, But ultimately we need it really near a window unit um, such, as, such as this glass. The unit itself also has GPS and we rely on what we say clear um, line of sight to the sky for that GPS to work and see the satellites. So it can struggle sometimes through some metal bodywork, but if it's near a window, etc., it won't. It will send struggle and it will send those signals straight to the um, satellites. So if your vehicle does get stolen, it can also track your vehicle live and see where that vehicle is. So we've just got a Velcro pad that actually comes with the unit itself, double-sided Velcro. Um, we've stuck one side onto the bodywork itself. Again, make sure that's nice and clean, no greasy areas or water. And it just simply just sticks on there like that and it's nice and secure in that position. Um, you can actually slide the unit in and out as you wish if you want to use it for the torch as well. So the alarm has already been set using the app um, on your phone. It's all set up and live. So effectively when it hears that volume of that siren, it is set at a really high decibel range, so it shouldn't actually go off through voice and everything like that, or ambient noise. Sometimes in our campers, it can be relatively loud as we're traveling, so it's probably best to turn that noise off, um, sensor off on your phone um, while, while traveling and arm it um, every time you go in and out of the vehicle. So, our uh, door sensors are fitted, our uh, alarm sensor, smart alarm sensor is fitted, and we're all ready to go. So one quick reminder on why van alarm is possibly one of the best van alarm units you can get for your vehicle. Um, we'll know that many of you will probably have a pre-installed um, alarm already in the, the motorhome or camper van or caravan, which is all very good. Um, however, one of the things that those alarms don't tend to do is have that pre-notification um, warnings, which actually means you actually, from a van alarm system, you will get a pre-alert before any damage is done. So we've seen we've pulled those door handles. Um, we Even if we tap the vehicle or if we tamper with the locks, those alarms are going off. The alarm system that you will probably have in your van will need actually that thief to have gained entry and, and to have, um, with one of the considerations we never consider when we're talking, thinking about alarms, is actually, you know, doors and locks, etc. expensive units on our vehicles and it can cost you a thousand pounds just to replace a door if somebody's tried to get in before that alarm's gone off. With our unit, if that alarm has um, gone off before those attempts, it scares off that thief, you're alerted and you can react um, immediately. So that's one of the key benefits of our unit. Also, it has um, the other four levels of actual sensor settings. We've got that vibration, we have that noise um, sensor, we've got our GPS um, sensor so you can track that vehicle if it's stolen. We also have something called geofence. So if you're on a campsite for example um, You can set a radius around your campsite if your vehicle is actually Broken into and you haven't set the alarms, uh, but you have set the geofence um, the minute that uh, Vehicle drives out of that campsite Once you've set the radius on that campsite It will send that alert to you also and then you can use that live tracking to track your unit so there's plenty of benefits from you using your van alarm. Um, and just before we go guys, don't forget to say goodbye to Stan. See you Stan.